Welcome to Black Gumbo Southern Gardening. We're going to continue planting our winter garden today by planting leeks. Two different kinds of leeks. These leek starts that I bought from Bonnie Plants. I've got these and I've got some that I grew myself right here in this tray. These I grew from seed, these I bought at the store. We'll see the difference. The benefit of buying seeds and growing your own varieties is just that. You can grow whatever variety you want. So what we're going to do is we're going to tease these apart at the roots, separate them, and we're going to plant each individual leek um, on its own. That's how you do it. So let's do that. going to start with these store-bought leeks because they look like they might be a challenge. So I'm just going to pull this apart and drop them out. You can see there's lots of roots down there. Leeks have very tough roots, but what we're going to do to make this job easier is soak it in the water and kind of shake it around in there. And you can see these start falling apart real easy. Real easy. Man, this water's cold. And now we can get our individual leek plants separated out, just like so. And we'll lay these aside in our little tray here, so that we can plant these individually. There we go. Now we can pull these apart over the garden where we plant them. And a uh, whole lot easier than having to try to dig them out in a dry root ball there. Alright, there's a few stragglers down in here. No leak left behind. We had a cold front come through. Man, I'm chilly. Let's try to fish out some of these guys. I need a stick. Where did my stick go? There's one. Let's try that. And these just kind of fall apart on their own because that's just coarse that's just coarse compost and I'm going to put these on the other side of my tray so I know that they are my, my seedlings. These were grown from seed that I got. I don't remember the variety. I'll have to look it up. But we're just breaking them apart and getting these leeks separated. They have incredibly tough root systems. Even if you break some of them off, they'll still grow for you. There we go. Yeah, look at all those roots. That compost just crumbles apart like that. There I've got two leek seedlings that we can plant. I did not intensively sow these. There are only about four or five seeds in each tray. Over here though, these are bunching onions. And there are lots of seedlings in there. That's the way they are supposed to grow. These seedlings, though, they actually did really well. Look at that. Just breaks apart. All right, let's go plant. Okay, I've got my bed prepared. This is very fertile soil. You need fertility for these uh, onion garlic type plants. And I'm going to use a stick, a garden post, just to make sure my rows are straight. Now I'm going to plant these about four inches apart. I'm going to use my dibber to make a hole. And we're going to plant these um, about three inches deep. The larger ones may be maybe a little further, but I'm going to just make a hole. The soil is very moist and tacky. All right, so here we've got our holes. I'm going to take a leak, a single leak, and uh, tease the roots apart. And those are long. You need to get those roots down in there. Just shove them in with your finger and just shove that leak down in to the bottom. There are two of them in there. That guy's a little small. And close it in. Now that leak is not going to stand straight up yet. These are really floppy. But we're just going to put those roots down in that hole and shove the rest of that leak in there and cover up. 
Where's my dibber? There it is. These holes might be a little too shallow. Take a leak. And drop it in. Shove it all the way down. You want to bury them up to where the green starts uh, showing. Maybe even a, a, a little deeper, but that's what I've watched people do. I've seen folks bury these shallow. I've seen folks bury them deep. So I'm just kind of cutting the, cutting the middle there. Let me show you where I'm going to bury this one. So see, you have this, uh, this leak. I'm just going to bury it up to where the leaves start to separate there. All the roots in the ground, bury it up. Now, of course, we're going to water these in really well. Although the soil is still pretty wet, we've had a good night of rain. Rained all day yesterday. So, this soil is pretty, pretty damp already. Get down in there. Now, leeks require, like all the onion family, they require high fertility, lots of fertilizer. And so I'll come back and uh, fertilize these with a high nitrogen fertilizer and then all-purpose fertilizer on a, on a fairly regular basis. I'm going to leave enough room between my rows to get my scuffle hoe in and weed. This dibber is a nice tool to have on hand. You can make one out of the end of a broom or something. You don't have to buy one like this with the metal spike. All right, let's get these in the ground before they dry out. There's a nice one. As these get bigger, we'll come and we'll peel up the dirt around them to blanch the stalks. It's that white part that you want on a leek. So it makes them so good. But you see, this can be a pretty quick process. I'm trying to find some of the larger ones, just because I think they probably stand a better chance. But at the end of the day, I think even these small guys will probably do just fine. Watering these in will help to settle the soil around these roots and complete your planting process so don't forget to water them in after you water these in they're going to lay down on themselves because they're pretty flimsy little pathetic little plants right now but they will stalk up and beef up and stand up for you over time man I can smell them they smell like they smell good they smell like garlic and onion together and that's that's that classic leek flavor half garlic half half onion very mild once again this ground is already pretty moist but I want this soil to settle in around those roots so we're gonna water it in pretty good this is well draining soil. The water's never going to hurt. I'm using the watering can rather than the hose. So I don't want to beat down these tender little seedlings any more than I have to. Well, so far, our 10 foot long garden of carrots has not come up, but I wouldn't expect that yet. Carrots take a while. And, uh, yeah, we, we shouldn't see carrots until next week. Maybe even the end of next week. All our cauliflowers, I think that's cauliflower, all of our brassicas, let's put it that way, all of our brassicas are doing great. They have not been cut down by the cabbage worm, the, the cut worm. We had cut worm issues last year, right in this bed. Yeah, the nut sedge. See, there's that, there's that, oh, there's that root, and it's a network. All these guys right here 
are all related to one another and are all stuck together. You can see those nuts there that anchor that whole network in. Got to get that out. Oh, see, I just snapped that off. We'll have to wait until it comes up again. Yeah, turnips and pak choy coming up just fine. The broccoli. It was so spindly, you can see those stems. Now, someone said you can bury those stems. But you can also leave them on the surface. And what will happen is those will thicken up to about the size of your thumb. And they will curl upon themselves and form a base. And the broccoli will stand upright no matter what. So you can leave those buried or you can leave them exposed. It doesn't matter. Yeah, everything's looking good. All right, well, we have plenty of leftovers here. I should have planted that one. That's a nice one. Maybe I'll plant these in this little bed here. That's what I'll probably do. We have plenty of backups, and we'll put those out if we need to. All right. That's about 40 individual leeks. I might put in some more, but uh, I'm going to let these get a good start. And, uh, yeah, well, that's how simple it is. We will see if they take off and thrive. They're going to grow through the winter, and they might turn out to be a pretty long crop. Um, I've heard that people can grow these year-round, but here I'm going to grow them through the winter. Uh, onions, garlic, and uh, I'm assuming leeks will grow through our mild winters here, and they're relatively frost-hardy. So uh, we'll see how these do and probably be harvesting in the spring. They might go through a little bit of our spring garden, so I don't want to put a whole giant whole bed in when I need these beds for the spring. So we'll follow along these in our winter garden tours. And uh, yeah, thanks for joining me today on Black Umbo Southern Gardening. I appreciate you guys. If we've earned your subscription, we would appreciate it. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. How you doing, Phoebe? Phoebe is enjoying this cool weather. She loves to just sit in the yard. Isn't that right? You like to just sit? Yes, ma'am.